Hello, my name is Carla Coma, and I would like to share this story with you that my mother used to read me when I was growing up, and I just love this story. Um, it's very nostalgic for me, and it's my happy place. It's the first day of summer, <laughs> but I'm going to read a Christmas story. It doesn't, doesn't have to make sense. It's just something I like. Shall we begin? The Christmas Cookie Sprinkle Snitcher by Robert Krauss, illustrated by Vip. To the quiet woman. What does that mean? Let me see the page. In a neat little village all covered with snow, sleep apple-cheeked children, their hearts all aglow, Dreaming of morning when they will awake, hungry for cookies their mothers will bake. But high in the sky, while children all dream, the Christmas cookie sprinkle snitcher flies, teeth all agleam. He lands with a bump, then quick as a wink, he's into the pantry, snitching a sprink, with a toss of his head and a lick of his chomps. Into his mouth, cookie sprinkles he pops. All the rest of the sprinks he pours into his sack, then tosses his sprinkle sack onto his back. Each villager's house he desprinkles with glee, the more sprinkles I snitch, the more sprinkles for me. His sack is soon bulging with sprinkles galore. So his pockets he fills, then desprinks the store. He's a thief. At midnight last stroke, the village is bare. Not one unsnitched sprinkle is there anywhere. Happy at last that he snitched all the sprinks, the snitcher flies home to snatch 40 winks. The audacity. They don't know, they just don't know. Next morning at dawn, all the children awake eager for cookies their mothers will bake. The mothers sing carols and roll out the dough, cutting out cookies row upon row. Cookie reindeer, cookie stars, cookie Santas, cookie cars. Cookies round, cookies square, Christmas cookies everywhere. Cookies placed in baking trays to celebrate the holidays. Oh, it's so cute. There's so much detail in these pictures, I'm like not doing it justice. Anyway, you can find this online if you're if you're curious to have one of your own. Okay. Then the mothers reach for sprinkles, every woman's cupboard spare, not one single solitary cookie sprinkle anywhere. And Christmas cookies without sprinkles are like raisins without wrinkles. And like sleigh bells without tinkles are Christmas cookies without sprinkles. She's so shook. All the children start to cry. Not one child has one dry eye. Mums start crying, so do pops. Granny telephones the cops. The chief of police says with a sob, the Christmas cookie sprinkle snitchers pulled this job. He's got superpowers. He's some sort of mystic. I'll never catch him. Let's be realistic.
but a plucky kid named Little Nat knew in a flash that he had to act fast or Christmas cookie baking time would soon be past. Nat dried both his eyes and bundled up tight. I'll bring back the sprinkles, he vowed, before night. <laughs> the ambitious kid. Though the snitcher was gone, he'd left a trail of dropped cookie sprinkles. Nat said, I'll not fail. The trail of snitch sprinkles on this cobblestone street will lead me, I'm sure, to the snitcher's retreat. Through backyards and alleys piled high with debris, the sprinkle trail wound on and on endlessly. It's a maze. Through snow covered woods on ice flows and rivers, poor Nat got the shakes, poor Nat got the shivers. Nat's knees were cold, Nat's feet were sore, but he made it on courage to the snitcher's front door. At the door, Nat did rap. At the door, Nat did tap. But inside, the snitcher was snatching a nap. Nat kept rapping. Nat kept tapping. The sprinkle snitcher just kept napping. Mm. The snitcher at last awoke with a snore, leaped to his feet and flung open the door. Nat fell on his face. The snitcher said, pardon the looks of the place. I've been out snitching sprinkles. It's my Christmas fun. And that's why my house cleaning hasn't been done. The evidence is all just sitting there. Your Christmas fun snitcher, little Nat said, has driven the whole village out of its head. For Christmas cookies without sprinkles are like raisins without wrinkles and like sleigh bells without tinkles are Christmas cookies without sprinkles. I didn't mean to spoil no one's Christmas fun. I'm ashamed, sobbed the snitcher, ashamed what I done. Don't cry, Snitch, said Nat. There's no time to moan. And please, may I use your telephone? Sure, sobbed the Snitcher. You certainly can. So Nat called his mother and outlined his plan. Now dry your eyes, Snitcher, little Nat said. Pack up your sprinkles. Our work lies ahead. Out through the door and into the air, back to the village, flew the curious pair. As they circled on high, Nat looked below and saw all the villagers' faces aglow. He's going to redeem himself. Each village woman, child and man, with unsprinkled cookies, unbaked in a pan, then sprinkles swirled down like new fallen snow, making beautiful patterns on cookies below. And Christmas cookies all had sprinkles, just like raisins all had wrinkles. And like sleigh bells all had tinkles, Christmas cookies all had sprinkles. You've taught me a lesson, little Nat, said the snitcher. Though I haven't a sprinkle, I've never been richer. I know now that Christmas is not being greedy. Christmas is spreading sprinks to the needy. <laughs> so cute. So... Life's better with sprinkles. Hope you enjoyed that.